in the past, uh, people have looked at miniaturizing computing systems, uh, but the main challenge in putting everything into that small of a form factor, one cubic millimeter or so, is power consumption. So we have spent the last seven or so years working on uh, ultra low power uh, integrated circuit design techniques. We fairly quickly figured out how low the power needs to be so we can shrink our battery down to millimeter size. Now all the components that we started looking at that we need in this computing system consume uh, way more than that. And so it wasn't a, just an issue of taking one component like the memory or the processor and bringing it down in power. All of them had to be redesigned. Uh, to be much lower power. It started out more as a fundamental study, I think, and it became really, really compelling, and that's when we decided, hey, this is where the future of computing in many ways is going to go. And so we wanted to be the first to sort of make the next big leap. Uh, and in addition, I think it became clear to us that there's some very interesting applications. This particular device is about 1.5 cubic millimeters in volume. It's aimed at intraocular pressure monitoring for glaucoma diagnosis and management. So this device can be implanted in the eye with a really simple outpatient technique. Whenever the user brings a sort of a receiver wand toward their eye, they're able to actually read out the contents of that data. Our vision actually in this work, which I think is a little bit unique, is, is not just to make the components and to prove that we can do this, but we also really want to actually disseminate these sensors. We want to actually start making these in moderate volumes at the university and give these to other researchers so they can start to actually really do new kinds of work with these sensors, uh, open up new areas of applications. It's a pretty interdisciplinary project and uh, having people at Michigan that you could you know, walk down to the medical campus or to another building in engineering and, and basically uh, be able to work closely with them has been a real, real asset for this project. It's something that has really made this thing move faster than it would have otherwise.